years ago, we added on a master bedroom. That's down this little hallway. Master bedroom, master palace. Look at this place. Yeah, it's a great space. We like it. Wow, big. All right, so what's going on in here? Problems mostly at nighttime. When we basically close the door at night, the temperature swings in here are huge. It goes from really hot to really cold. It's just, it doesn't seem like the thermostat is picking up the temperature it in the isn't. bedroom. The thermostat's in the wrong place. It's not in the bedroom. All right, well, I gotta tell you something. It would have been a lot easier for you to relocate these wires back when this was all just studs. Right. That's 2028, right. I'm sorry. Now, a good electrician might be able to wire from that thermostat location, maybe down underneath the floor or up into the attic and get into here at some point. Right. The challenge we have with that, downstairs it's all finished everywhere, including in the garages. Upstairs, the attics don't really connect. Well, there's no attic here and they just the don't come together. So there's no real way to get it out here. Well, today might be your lucky day. I actually have some technology. There's a thermostat that doesn't need any wires. Let me show you. Sounds great. All right, so what you've got here is a forced hot water baseboard heating system. This is your heating boiler. Below it is a tank to make hot water for the faucet. Okay. Now the heated water leaves through this big pipe right here, and this green thing is a circulator pump. That pushes the water through right here. You can see each of these three zones that you know about. Yep. Each zone has a zone valve. They're connected by wires between the zone valve and the thermostats upstairs. When the thermostat sends a signal, it'll drive a piston, and that sends that heated water right through that valve to the baseboard. Okay. Now, up in your master bedroom, we're going to get rid of those wires and abandon them. And now we're going to install one of these. This is actually a wireless thermostat on any wall you want in your bedroom. A couple of screws right there. It's going to send a signal to this receiving unit right here. All right, this electronic interface module. And I'm going to mount that right here. All right, well, I'm going to mount this unit with a couple of sheetrock screws. Nice that I have a stud back here. I don't have to use any anchors. Okay. Now, the wiring is pretty straightforward. I need to run a set of wires from the unit to the zone valve to make that zone valve open and close. I also need to get power to this unit. So I'm going to run another set of wires from the unit to this transformer right here. three wires here. I'm going to use just the red and the white in this case. The connections on the board are push-in connections. Here you go, Richard. All righty. So now we've run our two wires from our transformer. Here's our two wires to the zone valve. You can see the power's on to the unit. Now we need to actually link the base unit to this wireless thermostat. So that starts with me hitting this button right here. And after a while, if it connects, it'll turn green. Okay. Now I hit next. There we go. Next. Wait. Wait, will you? <laughs> All right. We're connected. Done. Look at that. Now we just have to put this in the right space in your house. Great. Let's go. Thank you. Upstairs. All right. So your old thermostat is gone. Now there's a couple of basic rules about thermostat placement. What you're looking for is a really a representative sample of the air temperature in the room. And that generally means you're going to put it on an inside partition. What you're worried about is internal or external gains that could fool the thermostat. Imagine it's the winter and it's, this is close to that window. It's going to pick up a lot of cold air that isn't out there. Right? Okay. The other thing people don't realize is these appliances like televisions and computers, they can give off a lot of heat, so you want to avoid that. Okay. To me, the best place in this room would be right in here. Great. All right, Keith, here is your new wireless thermostat. 
You've got up and down buttons for temperature right there. All right, it's fully programmable. You can change it different days of the week and on the weekends, up That's and great. down multiple times a day. Why don't you snap it right onto that base? All right, you, my friend, I hope, are going to be a lot more comfortable this winter. Richard, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> that's really cool. It is a cool system. There's one thing I didn't mention. It is wireless in two ways. One is from the unit up in the room, the thermostat, down to the basement, but the other is out to the Internet. This is actually that homeowner's heating system right here. Really? Right. So what we can do is we can actually... So this really? is reading the information from his house? Correct. And so we really can mess with him. We can turn his heat right now to about 85 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that. He's a, he's a really good guy. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right. So if you don't need the internet, there's some other alternatives. You know, this, say you've got a thermostat like he did in the wrong place. They actually make a unit that's a bit simpler with no internet connection. You would take off this thermostat, you would connect the five wires behind it to this receiving unit. But this is not the thermostat, this is. So mm -hmm. now you could take this any way you wanted to, hang it on the wall, or in a commercial space you could just sit on someone's desk and they would be in control. And, and so because you're connecting it to the existing thermostat, do you do away with all the rewiring down in the boiler That's room? That's right, it's only done right here, these That's five right. wires. Oh, it really is simple. Pretty cool. Oh, that is right. nice, all right. Well, Thank hot. you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, until next time, I'm Kevin O'Connor. I'm Roger Cook. I'm Richard Thewey. And I'm Tom Silva. For Ask This Old House. I like that unit. You do, I know what you want. <laughs> I need <laughs> one of those. <laughs>